Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce a multifunctional battery adapter to you. Compared with conventional battery adapters, it has added features such as low voltage protection function, real time voltage display, an electronic switch, and a detachable dual voltage channel interface. It has functions like battery voltage output and fixed 12V voltage output, enabling your battery to be used in different scenarios and protecting the battery. It comes in two models. The first one is the LVP 30V 12V DC, which can use DeWalt batteries with a voltage ranging from 12V to 30V. The second one is the LVP 60V 12V DC, which can be used with DeWalt batteries with a voltage range between 12V and 60V. Both models of the adapter have the functions of battery voltage output and a fixed 12V DC voltage output. The main difference between this battery adapter with dual voltage output and the LVP30V is whether there is a 12V voltage output. Look at the ports of the adapter. From left to right, the first and second ports are both negative poles, marked as out dash. The third port is for battery voltage output. The fourth port is for a fixed 12V voltage output with a maximum DC current of 2.5A. Usage method. Step one, connect the wires. According to our own usage requirements, we connect the load connection wires to the adapters out, port and the battery voltage port respectively. It is recommended to use a connection wire with a fuse to connect the battery voltage port and the load. If there are other loads that require a 12V voltage, connect the load to the adapter's out port and the DC-DC 12V output port. As shown in the figure below, during the upgrade of the power wheels, the B-plus output port of the battery is connected to the relevant circuits of the motor and the 12V output is connected to the original vehicles. Lights, speakers, music systems, etc. In this way, it is possible not only to upgrade the power of the original vehicle, but also to ensure that the original vehicle's 12V accessories, such as lights, music systems, and speakers can still be used. Note, the 12V port has overcurrent protection. If the output exceeds 2.5A, both the 12V port of the adapter and the battery output port will disconnect the output completely. Step two, insert the connected adapter into the battery. After pressing the on button to turn on the module, the LED screen will light up and the adapter will start to output current. The screen will display the real-time voltage of the current battery. Note, the default low voltage protection value setting of the adapter is the conventional setting. LT, 16 VHT, 16.5 V. If the battery shows signs of aging, the setting value needs to be adjusted downward according to the specific situation. For the specific setting method, please refer to the setting instructions below. When the module is in use, it detects the voltage value in real time. When the voltage is lower than the LT setting value, the timing starts. When a recorded time is greater than or equal to the set stop delay time, the module will automatically cut off the power and stop the output to protect the battery. The default value of the stop delay time is 20 seconds. After replacing the battery, press the on button again, and then the module will work normally. Next, we will talk about how to make the settings. The values of CH and CL for low voltage protection, the delayed power off time, the screen off mode setting, and the voltage calibration setting. Setting of the CH value. Press the up or down button until the LED displays CH, high threshold value. Then briefly press the set button and press the up or down button again to adjust the value displayed on the LED. 
Set the CH value to 16.5V. Press the Set button to confirm and save the setting. Setting of the CL value. Press the Up or Down button until the LED displays CL, low threshold value. Briefly press the Set button. Then press the Up or Down button again to adjust the value shown on the LED. Set the CL value to 16V. Press the Set button to confirm and save the setting. Note, this is the conventional setting value for a 20V DeWalt battery. If your battery shows signs of aging, both the high threshold value and the low threshold value need to be set to lower values. Setting of the delayed power off time. Press the up or down button until the LED displays D00. Then, briefly press the set button. The screen will flash and display the setting value. At this time, press the up or down button to adjust the delayed stop time. The default value is 20 seconds. After setting it properly, press the set button to confirm and save the setting. Setting of the screen off mode. Press the up or down button until the LED displays PXX. Then press the set button and the screen will flash to enter the setting mode. Press the up or down button to make a selection. P00 indicates always on, and P01 indicates intelligent screen off. It will automatically turn off after 60 seconds without any button operation. After making the selection, press the set button to confirm and save the setting. Attention, the screen will only light up when you press the set button after it has gone off. Otherwise, you can only turn off the adapter by pressing the off button and then press the on button to turn on the adapter again and the screen will light up once more. Voltage calibration setting. If there is a voltage error caused by the weather temperature or device reasons, the voltage can be detected with a multimeter first and then the calibration setting can be made. Setting method. Press the up or down button. When the LED displays CRL, Press the set button to enter the calibration value setting. Then press the up or down button to adjust to the correct voltage value. At this time, press the set button. When the LED displays CAO, it indicates that the calibration value has been stored and the calibration is completed. Briefly press the set button to exit the setting. When the battery is not needed, press the off button to turn off the adapter. If, after using the adapter for a certain period of time, you want to restore the adapter settings to the factory default values, the operation method is to press the set and on button simultaneously while the adapter is turned off to restore the default settings. Special attention. The LVP, 30V, 12VDC can only be used for batteries with a voltage ranging from 12V to 30V. Using a voltage exceeding 30V will cause irreversible damage. Common problems of the adapter. 1. Can it change the output voltage? The adapter has dual output channels, a fixed 12V DC voltage channel and a battery voltage channel. The 12V channel will step down the battery voltage to a fixed 12V. The battery voltage channel, B+, does not have the function of changing the output voltage and its voltage remains the same as that of the battery. 2. Which batteries is it suitable for? The LVP, 30V, 12VDC battery adapter is compatible with DeWalt series batteries with a voltage below 30V. The LVP, 60V, 12VDC battery adapter is compatible with DeWalt series batteries with a voltage of 60V and below. 3. When the battery is plugged into the adapter and the on button is pressed to start the module, why doesn't the adapter output and the LED screen lights up briefly and then goes off? What's the matter? This phenomenon will occur when the battery voltage is lower than the low voltage protection value set by the adapter when starting the module. This is a normal program setting. When the LED screen goes off 
It is because after the adapter is turned on and it detects that the battery voltage is lower than the CL value set by the adapter. The adapter will turn off the module when the countdown of the set delay for turning off the module ends. So the screen goes off. In this case, the battery needs to be charged or the low voltage protection CL value needs to be adjusted downwards. And then the adapter can continue to output. Note that if the threshold is set too low, the module will lose its protection function for the battery. For that, the battery voltage display is greater than the low voltage threshold. But when the module in the 12V circuit, such as the lights, is started, it causes the entire module to power off. What's the reason? The 12V output circuit can support a maximum current of 2.5A. If the power is greater than this value, it will trigger the overcurrent protection or short circuit protection of module, resulting in the power off of the entire module. Remove the wires connected to the 12V port. If the module works normally, it can be basically determined that this is the cause of the problem. The solution is to check whether there is a short circuit in the 12V circuit and whether there is excessive power consumption. Five, that will the battery power be consumed after the module is turned off. This module has a specially designed circuit and the battery consumption is zero after it is turned off. However, the battery itself has a self-discharge phenomenon. When it is not used for several months, it is still recommended to remove it in time for charging to avoid the situation of reduced battery life. 